back to finish up our unit on the levers here, or a lesson on the levers. Uh, so I built myself a lever in the backyard here. And what we wanna look at today, we've already talked about types of levers, the three classes of levers. So now I wanna talk about how um, the, the length, of a, length of a lever makes a difference and also where the fulcrum is sitting. So I built myself a fulcrum here. Uh, I braced it so it can't fall over. Um, so that, that none of that's going to be an issue for me. So if you're doing this at home, if you're trying to replicate it at home, you want to do the same thing. In the container here, I've got 100 pounds of sand. And it's it's 100 pounds. I mean, it's heavy. I can lift it, but it's a lot of work to, to lift it. It's really, really heavy. So here's my lever. This is an 8 foot 2 by 6. And right now my lever is 4 feet long. So I've got it right in the middle there. Your fulcrum. Yeah, my fulcrum is, is, is four feet, uh, so I'm, I'm centered. The fulcrum is centered with the lever. All right, so let's see how hard this is to lift. So I can lift it pretty easy. I'm not working anywhere near as hard as I did um, when I was just trying to deadlift the 100 pounds of, of sand. Okay, you've adjusted where the fulcrum falls on the lever. Now we've got three feet between the fulcrum and the load, and we've got five feet between the fulcrum and the effort. So let's see. Think about it for a second. Should this be easier or harder for me to lift than when we had the fulcrum balanced between the load and the, and the effort? Well, let's see what happens here. It's pretty easy. All right, let's try one more thing. Still playing with the eight foot lever. We've moved it again now so that the fulcrum is in a different place. So now the effort end of the lever is short. The load end of the lever is long. Let's see what we get here. And I've got five and a half feet to the fulcrum on the load end and two and a half feet on the effort end. So let's see if that means I need to put more effort in or less effort in. All right, so here we go. Here's the one hand I used last time. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere. Here's two hands. And I can do it, but I'm using my 205 pounds of weight to get that up in the air. So much, much harder with the fulcrum making the effort end short. So the longer the effort end is, the easier it is to lift things. You have a greater mechanical advantage. All right, now let's change out the eight foot lever for the 16 footer and see what happens there. So I'm going to double the size of my lever. I'm up to 16 feet now. And now I'm halfway on just like I was with the 8 foot lever. You see again, if you're doing this at home, I put these stops on here just so that when I'm raising it up, it doesn't want to just slide off the end. All right, so now here I am down at the end of a 16 foot lever. Fulcrum is eight feet. And, <laughs> oh no. I can bend the board. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, now we've gone to our 16 foot lever. Um, I had to do this one end. I, I showed you last time how I bent this 16 footer all the way to the ground. Um, but, so I've got it on edge now built a platform for the sand to sit in, but all the principles are still the same. So I've got, I've doubled the size of my lever. I've got the fulcrum in the middle, so let's see how hard it is. So it's pretty easy to lift the 50, or the 100 pounds of sand. Now I'm gonna move the fulcrum. Right, we've made an adjustment. We've lengthened the effort end of the lever, shortened the load end. I've got five feet on this end. 
up to the fulcrum. And that's going to give me 11 feet on this end over here. So let's see if that made it easier to lift. Okay, move my class one lever out of the way here. See how easy that is. All right, in concluding about our lever lab we are doing today, uh, we've determined that the longer the effort end of the lever is, the more mechanical advantage you have. When we made the uh, load end longer, that hurt us. We need, we need the effort end to be long. The shorter the effort end, the more effort we actually had to put in. And you, can, you can almost remember it that way. Um, if there's a long effort end to the lever, we don't have a whole lot of effort we have to add in. If, it, if the effort is short, then we have to make up the difference. We have to add a lot of our own um, force to, to that, a lot of our own effort to that. All right, so the longer the effort end of the lever is, the more mechanical advantage you have. Also, with the fulcrum positioning, um, that made a big difference as, as well. And, and it's going to be the same thing. You can think of it from either direction. Um, so where you put the fulcrum makes a difference in how a lever works. And you need to remember that if you are out working on a job site or, or working around the house, you need to do something. If you want to use your simple machines to move something around, and I do this almost every day, um, you need to be thinking about where you're going to put the fulcrum to, to make this happen. Also, um, having a longer lever, not just the longer effort in, but the longer lever also makes a difference too. So if you need to move something heavy, using a two foot or a three foot lever to do that is not gonna give you a whole lot of mechanical advantage. Uh, eight feet worked pretty well for what we're doing today, lifting 100 pounds of sand. Uh, 16 feet made it even easier. And, and you know, the longer the lever is, the easier it's gonna be. You can just keep working that out farther and farther and farther mathematically. The longer it is, the easier it is. Unless you run into a problem like I did with the 16 foot board laying on its face, um, where I could bend it all the way to the ground. Uh, and that was kind of funny, but that's how trees survive. The long, long length of, of a board is actually very, very flexible. And if that was a four-foot board that we we're using, it wouldn't have bent like that. An eight-foot board would not have bent like that. But when you are using a tree-length board, uh, 16 feet, 20 feet, anything like that, the fibers, the, 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 the fibers that make up a tree are, are woven together like this, and they're running long ways up and down the tree. And they are very, very flexible to help the tree survive in, in high winds. Uh, so that's why that board was able to bend like that. That all came out of one tree. All the fibers were aligned, and, and so it was very flexible. When I put it on end, it's not flexible anymore. So, so that allowed us to do the lab. So I hope you enjoyed the lab, and we'll be moving on and doing the other simple machines in just a couple minutes.